Christmas and Happy Holidays, my guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Nerd Explosion, the weekly podcast where based on a monthly theme, I nerd out, but whatever I want. As always, I'm your host, Cameron, and this episode is going to be a little different because if you're seeing this on Spotify, which more than likely you are because I always share the Spotify link, you get to see my face. So uh, right now, I'm going to give you a good, uh, good, 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 good close up for you. And if you're not watching the video, then you're missing out. <laughs> but since it is literally the day before Christmas, well, depends on what you you what you uh, qualify as Christmas. Like I I tell the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth Christmas because I count Christmas Eve. Some people only count uh, the twenty fifth. They only count Christmas Day. But either way, you know, two days at Christmas is what I think. So literally, this episode is gonna be the day before Christmas and. I figure what better way to get into the Christmas spirit than by reading reading a little Christmas story to get you get you in the holiday mood, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's oh, there is a catch though with the story. It's AI generated. Now, why did I choose to make it AI generated? Well, you know, they're gonna take over us one day, so might as well appease them now. <laughs> But before we get into that, I want to let you guys know, if you didn't already know, I mean, if you didn't know by this point, then, I mean, come on, are you not paying attention? But new episodes of this podcast come out every Saturday, so make sure you do all the things on all the stuff. But with that being said, let's get in the holiday mood with a little, little Christmas story. This story is called Lily and the Curmudgeon. Once upon a time, on a cold winter's night, a village was blanketed in darkness, devoid of light. Snowflakes fell heavy with sorrow and gloom, as the townsfolk huddled, their hearts filled with doom. For in the midst of the season of joy and cheer, a shadowy figure brought dread and fear. A Christmas curmudgeon known far and wide, with a heart icy cold and a soul that had died. He snuffed out the candles, stole gifts from the tree, and whispered dark secrets to each child he'd see. No laughter, no merriment, only tears and despair, as the village was shrouded in an eerie cold air. But in a small cottage, hidden from sight, lived a young girl named Lily, her spirit shining bright. With a heart full of kindness, she refused to succumb to the darkness that gripped the village, leaving hearts numb. Lily knew of the curmudgeon and his cruel ways, and she vowed to bring love back to the holidays. With a twinkle in her eye and a plan in her mind, she set out to spread joy, leaving no one behind. She baked cookies and treats wrapped in colorful bows, Knocked on doors, spreading warmth wherever she goes. She sang, she sang carols with neighbors, shared stories and laughter, slowly mending the village one heart at a time and after. The curmudgeon watched from the shadows, uncertain and cold, as Lily's kindness transformed young and old. His heart, once as black as the winter's long night, felt a flicker of warmth a glimmer of light. With a heavy heart, he approached Lily one night, his voice filled with regret, his eyes shining bright. I've been plagued by my darkness, consumed by my fears, but your kindness has shown me there's hope through the years. Lily smiled gently, forgiveness in her gaze. She saw the potential for change in his ways. Together they walked through the snow-covered town, spreading love and joy turning darkness around. But alas, as the snowflakes danced in the air, Lily fell ill, her body weakened and bare. The curmudgeon, now transformed, held her hand tight as she whispered her last words bathed in candlelight. Keep spreading love even when shadows appear, for kindness can conquer the darkest of fear. Remember me fondly with a heart that's aglow and let my spirit guide you wherever you go. The village mourned Lily, the girl with a heart so pure, but her legacy lived on, love would endure. And as time passed by, the curmudgeon's heart grew cold. 
once again embracing darkness as the story was told. And so, dear reader, this tale ends with a twist, a reminder that even in happiness, darkness persists. But fear not, for within us, a spark remains to fight back against shadows and break free from their chains. So I hope you enjoyed that Christmas story. I know there's way better Christmas stories out here, but I wanted to give you something a little different, something a little different for this holiday. And I know this is a really short episode, but hey, it's Christmas. So, you know, do what you can with that. You know, I want you to spend more time with family and, you know, screw listening to me. I want you to spend more time with family. So I'm hoping you guys have a safe holidays or whatever you're doing. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. If you don't celebrate anything, then just, you know, have a nice day. Have a good weekend. But to all of you that are celebrating Christmas, I want to, I want to wish you guys the happiest of holidays, the safest of holidays. I love you, each and every one of you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Nerd out. <laughs>